Today we're going to be taking a look at a Chrysler Sebring cluster. This is a 2007. Uh, I believe these are the same from 07, 08, and 09. So what we have here is failed backlighting. This is the electroluminescent style backlighting. And it has a bad D306A driver chip in it. And that's what uh, runs the backlighting inverter circuit. And it's on board, unlike the older styles that had a separate little module. Um, so with this style of cluster, there are a couple different methods out there for repairing it. Um, you can either just replace the chip that failed or people make aftermarket modules that you can cut splice and tap into the board to run a larger, more powerful module. Now, um, I'm not a hundred percent sure that I can say that the engineers failed and undersized the driver chip because in my experience what I see after I pull the chip off is some crusty nasty dried up flux crust of a heat sink pad between the the center of the chip and the uh, board and the board has four vias in it to help pull the heat away from the chip and into the board and, and to get it away from the chip and in all my experiences of pulling that chip off that heat sink pad looks awful. So we're gonna take an extra close look at that, uh, the heat sink pad after I pull it up and see how it looks. Um, so for now, uh, let's tear it apart and get started. Now with the cluster taken apart, we can have access to the chip without having to worry about burning any of the plastics. And the EL driver chip we're looking for is right here next to the uh, plug-in socket for the uh, EL backlight. And it's this right here. This is the actual size of the chip that we're dealing with. So microscope is recommended. I'm going to use hot air to remove the chip. And I'm not going to use flux only because I want to see what's under the chip without altering the solder joint. And here you can see there's no solder in the via holes. We're just left with some crusty looking uh, lead free solder. Next, I'm going to wick off the old solder, and you'll see a big difference right away as soon as I start adding uh, leaded solder and some fresh flux.
Here it is from the back side and you can see solder has filled in the vias. All right, so now um, cluster's all wrapped up, put back together. I don't have a way to test this one because I believe it needs serial data to tell the bag light to turn on. I'm just not set up for that. But if this video is posted, that means I heard back from the owner and it works. And here is the old chip that was pulled. And uh, like I was kind of expecting that heat sink pad in the middle just didn't look like it was doing a good job at uh, pulling the heat through. It just had some dried up, lead free, nasty, crusty solder. And I, I believe that's probably why these are failing. It's just not able to pull the heat through. After I put the new uh, chip on, I made sure that there was enough solder to not only make a good contact to the heat sink, not too much, but just enough, but it flowed through the vias to help pull the heat away. Um, I think that uh, that ends this video. So uh, thanks again for watching. See you next time.